and to come forward for the children's message. Good morning, young ones. Cora, it's great to have you with us. Last week, do you remember which color we talked about? Yes, Lydia. Blue, in fact, blue does point your eyes to the skies when we wait for Jesus' coming. And again, Advent means coming. And the three ways Jesus comes to us are as a baby in a manger, through the Word into your heart by the power of the Spirit, and finally, on the last day. Those are the three ways. Now, we looked at blue. We're going to pick a different color. In fact, I'll let you guys pick which color we do next. Cora. Green. Good color. That's a very good one, Cora. Do you know why we have a green tree in the front? Why there is green on the um, Advent wreath? Why the leaves on the poinsettia are green? I guess that's how God made them, but that's why we have them up here. Why did we pick green? What do you think? Okay, Lydia. Green is a live color. That's right. There's signs of life. Now, you live in North Carolina, and it's in the 50s, and it's raining today. And so not everything's even dead yet. Some people still have to cut their grass through Christmas. But where I grew up, by now it's all frozen, everything. And it's not going to thaw probably until April. And so everything's dead except for the tree. The evergreen tree keeps on growing and living. And so one of the signs and beauties of Christmas is that you're alive. We talk about sin a lot. We talk about guilt. But we also talk about Jesus takes that away. Christianity is wonderful and Jesus is amazing. And that's why we celebrate His birth because He gives us life. Real life. Not like the life in my cell phone. It's only good until the battery dies. But life eternal. Life that lasts forever. That's incredible. And that's something we're celebrating. Let's fold our hands and talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, we praise You for giving us life. Help us to remember that even though we see death all around us this time of year, we know that we will live forever. Amen. You're excused to go to your Sunday school class. 